Hi, this is Chris from Del Monte Group here to talk about an underutilized retirement vehicle for self-employed professionals. When you're self-employed, it can be easy to overlook investing in a retirement plan. However, the self-employed, particularly those without any employees, can utilize a retirement plan not available to W-2 employees. Many folks are familiar with SEP IRAs, IRAs for the self-employed and small business owner. As a business owner, you can contribute up to 25% of income for businesses that are incorporated or 20% for those that are unincorporated. However, there's another retirement plan vehicle that offers a higher contribution limit that may result in more retirement savings and larger tax savings. They're called solo 401ks or individual 401ks. And they're not new retirement vehicles, but they offer a great retirement plan solution for the self-employed. These plans work best if you have a single business owner with no employees. If you have a spouse that's involved in the business, that's okay, it still works in that situation. So, as a business owner, you're allowed to contribute 20 to 25% of compensation, so same as the SEP IRA, and, and this is where the individual 401k sets itself apart, as the employee, the business owner can contribute up to $19,000 annually with a $6,000 uh, catch-up for those folks over the age of 50. So this is an additional 19 to 25,000 that can be deferred into a retirement account. So as an example, let's say you have a 50 year old business owner with no employees. If we assume that her annual income is $100,000, she would be able to contribute 25,000 or 25% into a SEP IRA. However, with that same income, she would be able to put away 50,000 into an individual 401k because of that additional $25,000 employee contribution. So not only is she allowed to contribute twice as much in this case, uh, but it amounts to some significant tax savings. If we assume that her combined federal and state tax bracket was 30%, that extra $25,000 into the retirement account amounts to $7,500 of tax savings, huge. One of the big differences between the SEP IRA and the individual 401k is the deadline for establishing the accounts. The individual 401k must be established by December 31st in the year that you'd like to make a uh, contribution or receive the tax deduction, while the SEP IRA can be established as late as the filing date the following year. So as uh, we get close to the end of the year, it's rapidly approaching, those business owners without any employees would be wise to consider an individual 401k as their retirement funding vehicle choice and make sure the account is established before year end. Feel free to reach out to me or my team if you have any questions. Thanks.